All right, we're about to get started. So let me go ahead and get up the slides. So today I wanna to show you how to overcome self-sabotage and magically manifest more money, which is a science and practical application of Think and Grow Rich Secret. Look, at the end of today, I have an amazing offer for you. It's completely free, a one-on-one -on -one session with one of my coaches. So my goal today is to show you the science and the techniques you must understand to change your attraction point and how understanding structural tension identity system is the one thing you must do to make the shift now. Now, let me share something with you. Gravity exists, but it is superseded by lift. True? So if I throw a pen up in the air, a ball up in the air, it's gonna come back down. We get it. However, if I was to fly from where I am right now on the Gold Coast in Australia, I could fly over to New Zealand, to the United States, to the United Kingdom, and, that's, and gravity would still exist. However, it's superseded by a bigger law, and that bigger law is a law of lift. Now see, that's the exact same thing when it comes to hard work. Because hard work exists and hard work gets you results. However, it's superseded by something bigger. And that something bigger is what we're gonna talk about today. You see, I know lots of people who have worked really, really hard their whole life and not achieved the financial rewards they want. See, there's something bigger, just like gravity exists but is superseded by something, there is something bigger that supersedes hard work. And I didn't know this, until I met a billionaire and really understood it, I was able to scale my company to multiple millions and that's what I wanna show you today. So today's for you if you're an aspirational business person or investor and can't understand why you're not creating the financial freedom you desire and are willing to do whatever it takes to hit your goal. Now because of this system, I'm a two times best-selling author. I manifested the love of my life and married her. I live and work from dozens of countries over the last 10 years. Spoken to live audiences of now over 130,000 people. I am a first generation millionaire. I've lived a life of freedom doing what matters most. I built my digital marketing company to over 5 million in revenue. But the truth was it wasn't always this way. I grew up in a beautiful middle class family full of love in New Zealand. I was following society's rules. I went to uni, I got a good job, and then I was stuck in that job wanting more. I did everything right, but it wasn't the fulfilling life I wanted. So have you ever had the same question I had? Have you ever wondered why some people break through to millions and others don't? You know, even though they have the same upbringing, the same opportunities, why do some break through and others don't? Have you ever said to yourself, if only I had more money, then I could do this, then I could do that? Well, same. And my question to you is, why do you not have everything you desire? Why do you not have the money? What's your reason? So you know as you're sitting there listening to this that you've got opportunities. There's no good reason why somebody as smart as you, as talented as you, with the opportunities that you have had, with the opportunity you have right now. There's no good reason. There's many bad reasons. But there's no good reason that you haven't found a way to have everything you desire except for the reason you hold true. And so the truth is I want to understand how big your problem is. And so let me ask you, have you had the same income for years without any changes? You just can't seem to get to a higher bracket income. You stay at the same level. You feel stuck no matter what. Because if that's true, we're gonna show you how to get past that on a breakthrough session at the end of this call. Or are you able to make more money than somehow you're always back to where you started? Each time you make more money, you attract the circumstances that sabotage you and you have more expenses. Do you go back and forward, back and forward, back and forward? When, or, or you number three, when you get more money, can you keep the money or do you have to spend it? Like if I was to give you a thousand bucks right now, you're already thinking where to spend it. You can't seem to hold on to the money. Or you number four, this is a big one for people. Look, if someone handed you a million dollars right now in a box, a million, for no reason other than you're alive and you're on their path, you didn't have to work for it, nothing. And they just give it to you and then they give you another million and another million and another million. How would you feel? See, a lot of people have this problem. They'd feel guilty or strange or worried or skeptical about why they've been given this. And this is how you're reacting to the universe. You're not just allowing yourself to receive. Or do you go to program after program, course after course, opportunity to opportunity? You never have enough information. That's what I did. You become info junkie. Are you afraid of being successful on some level? What will happen? Will you be judged, criticized? Or are you living for someone else's success? My question is, how big is your problem? What's the truth? You know, humans like to move towards pleasure and away from pain. And a lot of times it's more pleasurable not to accept the truth. So I want to ask, how big is your problem? 
Is it something that you need to change? Because if it is, this is going to be the right program for you. This is going to be the, the right session for you. You're going to learn a lot. But if it's not, if you don't have a problem right now, if you're cool with the way that your life's going, then I suggest you don't watch to the end because today's going to be serious and I'm going to get through a lot. See, the problem is your emotional vibration. Hear me on this. Right now, if I asked you, what would more money mean to you? A lot of people say to me, more money equals freedom and abundance. And I say, great, so more money is tied to freedom and abundance. And they say, well, how do you feel about your money right now? And they say, well, right now, how I feel about money, there's not enough and scarce. And I say, see, right now you're living that there's not enough and that you're scarce, but more money equals freedom and abundance. But you're a person who's not, not enough and scarce. You must become the freedom and abundant person first before the more money shows up. See, we think that the more money is going to happen so that we feel the feeling. The truth is the feeling is the seed. The more money is the fruit of the tree and the fruit of the tree is what comes out last. Same with relationship. A lot of people say, Chris, I want to be in a great intimate relationship with my dream man, my dream woman. I say, great. How do you feel now? Well, I'm single and I'm lonely and I don't feel good enough. Well, if your relationship that you want to be in feels like connection, love and support, that's what you need to be in now because the connection, love and support, somebody who's full of love tracks someone else who's full of love and everyone's able to give. So the truth is, is the problem is actually your emotional vibration. The good thing is that you can change that now. See, what you want is actually how you feel. You don't really want the money. You want the abundance. You want the success. You don't really want the car. You want what it's going to do. You don't really want the house. You want the feeling. You don't really want the relationship. You want the connection, the support, the love. And the truth is, is there is one thing that every single human being on this planet has control over. From the richest billionaire on the planet to the, the person struggling the most, you know, starving, not having enough to eat. The one thing we can all control is the way we feel. And this was very apparent in Viktor Frankl's book, Man's Search for Meaning, where everything was taken from him. He was in a concentration camp, World War II. He lost everything. His, his family, his children, his wife were murdered. He was stripped of everything, but yet he said that he had more freedom than his captors because the one thing they couldn't take from him was his ability to choose how he felt. And that's true freedom. And you can choose that now. So I felt the same as you. So I went out there with my old vibrational point and I started a business and guess what? Failed. And something amazing happened after that is I found a mentor. It's exactly what I had. He had a $3 million business and he started to mentor me. And he, and he told me the story of Joe and Bob. And he said to me, Chris, look, there's two types of people in life. And a great story is this ancient story of Joe and Bob. See, Joe and Bob were given this amazing opportunity to go and fetch the water for the city. Every bucket of water they brought back, they were given a dollar. And so out they trenched on day one to go get the water, come back day two, day three. On average, they were able to bring 100 buckets of water back to the city every day. They were heroes. They were paid a dollar per bucket. Hundreds of dollars were made every single week for them. And the townsfolk loved them. But all of a sudden, Bob started getting a little bit tired of this. He started thinking to Joe, Joe, there has to be a better way. He says, Joe, this is crazy. We're doing this. has to be a better way. We can't do this for the rest of our life. And Joe says, shut up. Look, you know, let's just do it. Let's just do this. This is what we're giving away. We're so privileged. We're lucky. But Bob said, I'm going to take some time out. I'm going to start thinking. Now, he took time out. So he'd been given this amazing opportunity. He takes time out, starts thinking, doing other things. His wife gets on him. His friends get on him. Joe says, what are you doing? The town needs this water. We're the only ones that can do it. We've been given the task. And Bob says, no, there has to be a better way. And he thinks and he thinks and he thinks. And, and months go by. And, and everyone in the town says, think, you know what? The, this Bob guy, he's selfish. He, he only cares about himself. He's not doing the task. He's lazy. And then all of a sudden, Bob starts getting his idea. And he takes more time off. And they hate him even more. They make Joe a hero. They say, Joe, you're amazing. Look at you. You keep bringing the water. Not like that crazy Bob guy. He's not doing anything. And, and they really didn't like him. But Bob starts with his idea and he keeps going. A year and a half passed, nearly two years since they first started. And all of a sudden, Bob finished what he was doing. The last, the last shovel of dirt was dug and his trench was finished. And on that day, a thousand buckets of water flew into the city. A thousand buckets. And every day from then on, a thousand buckets would come in. And all of a sudden... Bob was earning thousands of dollars a day and Joe was out of a job. Bob employed, employed Joe and was set to work creating trenches for other cities. See, what I realized is it didn't matter 
how good it is that I was doing when it was using my own time. I had to build something that would pay me and help people without my time. I realized even with all the love that I'd grown up with, I had to change my thinking. I had to change my thinking. I had to do something else. And so I knew what to do. Instantly it became clear how to transition from average to 1%. I had a clear vision of what was possible. However, I was full of fear. You know, could I really do it? What if I failed? And then I, and then I got this interesting thing. I thought, well, if I go out there and try it and fail, I just end up back here. Think about that. I was in a job. I'm going to go back and start another business. I'm going to go do it. And the worst case is I just end up back where I started. So I thought it's worth the risk. Let me go. So I started straight away, but results were really slow. And I felt like I was battling myself. Have you ever felt that? Like you're at a war with yourself, like there's this conflict going on. And so I had to get it working. I spent all this money to build my trench and learn all of these things. But it was a war. Everywhere I looked, I saw others winning. And I knew it was me that had to change. And that reminds me of the story of monkeys. And this is a very interesting story. There was these five monkeys put in the cage. Scientists were watching these monkeys. And what they did is they opened the top of the cage and put food there and put a ladder up to the top. And so what happened, as soon as there was ladder and food and an open gate, the, the monkeys started climbing the ladder. Now, here's what's interesting. As soon as a monkey started to climb that ladder, the scientists would freeze all the other monkeys with ice cold water freeze them, spray ice cold water. I know not the most nice thing to do. And so here's what happened is after a few times, the monkeys got to realize that if you climb that ladder to get food, everyone's going to get frozen in ice cold water. So what would happen is if any monkey even dared step foot on that ladder, monkeys would come flying from everywhere in the cage. They would scratch and claw and yell and scream at this monkey for being so selfish. So eventually no monkey would touch the ladder. The, the scientists could pretty much leave the top of the cage open and nothing would happen. So here's what's interesting is they changed one of the monkeys. They took one monkey out and put another one in. And guess what happened? The first thing that monkey did, saw food and a ladder, thought, I'm going to go for it, started climbing. And so all the monkeys raced across and hit the monkey, clawed it, scratched. This monkey must have been confused. What are you talking about? There's food up there. Now, here's what happened is that monkey soon learns not to climb the ladder. So they changed out another monkey. Again, the same start. They, the monkey thought, you know what? I'm going to go up this ladder. I'm going to get this food. Now, what was interesting is this, the new monkey also was beaten up by this, the latest monkey that joined that never, ever, ever had been sprayed with the cold water. It joined in on the beating. And this blew the scientists away. And so then they added a new, another new monkey. And guess what? The previous two that just joined started beating up on the monkey. And then they'd replaced all of them. So hear me on this. There were no monkeys in the cage that ever got sprayed with cold water. And guess what? the scientists could leave a ladder and an open gate and no monkey would touch the ladder. And here's where it gets interesting. Those monkeys had children and guess what happened? None of those monkeys would climb the ladder. And I bet you if you ask one of the monkeys, why aren't you climbing this ladder? It's open. They'd say something like this. We don't climb ladders around here. It's the way our ancestors have always done it with no reason. And so I started to realize that maybe I'd grown up in a family of monkeys that had kind of, you know, maybe not really know why they're doing the things they're doing. Why did they have a job? Why did they work out? Why are all these things going on? It was almost like it was just bred into us. So I thought I've got to change my mindset. So I got certified in neuro-linguistic programming twice, hypnosis, success strategies, Robin seminars, money and you, matrix energetics, manifesting all possibilities. You name it, I did it. And the thing is, is it changed my life because I realized that the fastest way from where I am to where I want to be is my, through my mindset. I went all in. I focused on one goal when I got a full-time coach. I spent $100,000 on this coach and I worked on myself every single day. Here's what I realized. I want you to write this down because on your breakthrough session we're giving you today, it's, it's worth a few hundred dollars. You're getting it for free today. Because I realized that all beliefs were unconscious. And that means because it's unconscious, it means I wasn't consciously aware of all the beliefs that were running my programming. And think about this. When you drive a car, you're not thinking about it. All of the stuff that you do to operate a vehicle going at 100 miles an hour is done by this unconscious facility. It is, it is operating everything, and so you don't know what's going on. I also realized that all things are created twice, meaning it's first created in my mind and then manifested in the real world. And so I started to think about this. And then I found that the missing piece was called structural tension. 
I read a book by Robert Fritz, broke everything apart for me. The, the, the book is called The Path of Least Resistance. And this is why you have to have this call today because structural tension is the missing piece. I had tension in the wrong place. Now, there's a universal law that says, I will take and so will water and so will anything in the universe, the path of least resistance. Now, if I've got tension, meaning one thing is harder than another, I'm always gonna take the easy option. That is why we cheat at the gym, it's why we eat the wrong food, it's why we procrastinate, it's everything. There is a tension, it's the missing piece. When I learned how to use structural tension in the right way, everything changed. Then I found my sabotage pattern and I stopped reinforcing it and I took the right action and I won. I built a four and a half million dollar company and everything was going great. And then my life changed. This is my best friend, Mark Deason. Uh, there's us in the top left shooting a video together, bottom left, we're in Bali. Bottom right, that's me as a lion and, and him kind of looking at me intensely. And then the top right is our last photo together. He's unfortunately, he's the one in the box. And this was my first mentor, the one that had a $3 million company. I met him when I was 19 years old. And for 12 years, we became best friends. Uh, we started businesses together and we built a company together. And then all of a sudden, on the 3rd of March, 2016, he was killed in a motorcycle accident in Bali, Indonesia. And it was such an unfortunate circumstance because he was driving on the, the correct side of the road. He was wearing his helmet. He wasn't speeding. He wasn't drinking. He was doing everything right. And a, a truck swerved across the middle line and took him out. And that was him gone. And I lost everything. In fact, I went from this big company down to, to you know, losing millions of dollars. And I was ended up in hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. But I pulled myself together. And I, and I saw it as a gift. I saw it as a gift because I said, now that I've got nothing, I get to prove that I have changed and turned into a millionaire on the inside. And so this is what I did. The first thing I did, write this down, I got a clear contribution-based vision. I said, how am I going to help the world? What am I gonna do that's a contribution to impact the world? The second thing is I made sure I had an aligned mind and I was in the emotion of the end result. I understood structural tension plus correct action. I created a morning meditation and a visualization and I found the right mentors. And what happened was I made a million dollars in nine months, $2.1 million in 12. And then three years later, I now have a company valued at $5 million. And I want you to know because I was an internal millionaire, so they, the universe could take my best friend, kill my business partner, bankrupt my company, leave me emotionally broke, toss me around, throw me out, get all sorts of things happen. And because I understand these principles, I will bounce back every single time. And I know this to be true. And that's why I'm so passionate to be here. Now through this, I meet a billionaire and the self-made billionaire invited me to speak with his friends. And he says to me, Chris, you're right. It's all vibration thinking and manifestation. But the real key, he said to me, Chris, is your identity. He said, your identity that you'd shifted into was already that of a millionaire. So that's why you bounce back so fast. He says, Chris, you have to teach what you know. It's the truth. And this is the truth. And I want you to get it. You must be in your future feeling right now. And here's the truth. This statement, I am truly satisfied with everything I have now and I want more. This statement, if you cannot accept it, has to be something that you put up on your wall. I'm satisfied with everything I have now and I want more. See, when I read that to people, a lot of people go, well, Chris, I don't, where's my motivation gonna come from? And I say, well, your motivation is coming from a lack. Therefore, you're not in the future feeling. So you have to be happy with it now. You must get in the now feeling. The now feeling equals the future feeling. You must let go of trying to get somewhere or get away from something. The true power is in the now. And this is the biggest problem. Your natural conflicts are going to stop you. This is why you need a coach. This is why I'm giving you the free breakthrough session with one of my coaches today that you can book in at no charge. See, your past, every moment up until now is proven to be survived. Because you're breathing, because you're here, your past is safe and proven to be survived. Now, that's a big, big thing for the unconscious brain because your brain wants to make sure that you survive. Therefore, your future that you're choosing, if it's new, is unsafe and unproven. So you have this natural conflict where one part of you wants everything to stay the same and then another part of you wants everything to change. 
And you've just got to ask yourself, which part of you do you listen to? Because most of us try to listen to the part that wants something new, wants something great, wants increased quality, yet our behaviors are directly in conflict with that. And so this is so true. Your actions are going to create your results. However, your emotion is what motivates the action. That's why I say everything is created twice. If you feel uncomfortable asking for the sale, you won't make it. If you feel bad about cold call, you won't do it. If you fear rejection, you won't put yourself out there. The emotion will stop you. And so the question I have for you is, what is your sabotage pattern? Where is the power? Do you have a true goal? Do you actually have a goal that you just want because you want it? Or are you trying to resolve a way that you feel incomplete? When, when you have the call with one of my team, we're going to take you through these questions deep and you're going to find your sabotage pattern. We're going to ask you what your future goal is. We're going to ask you how it's going to feel to be in the reality of that. Okay, then we're going to ask you what your current reality is and we're going to explore that. Okay, this is going to help you understand the structural tension you're in. Where are you now? Where do you want to be? What's that tension that's seeking release? And we're going to be able to look at that and pull that apart. They'll do that in the first 10 minutes with you is to really help you get clear on your future goal and understand the emotion of your end result. Then we'll actually understand your reality and how it feels now. Then we're going to ask you a big question. What is the correct action to take? Once you tell us the correct action, we're going to unpack all the reasons why you're not taking that action or you're not doing it. We're going to uncover the root cause, the seed of your sabotage, the seed of your procrastination. You see, we're going to help you find that so then we can shift it so then you just take the right action and get the right results. We'll ask you questions like, what are your reservations or stories that stop you? What are your judgments? What are your inner conflicts? And how do you resolve the tension? We're gonna help you find which one of these patterns are running your life the most. And then we're gonna show you how we shift them. See, some people are running patterns that they're unworthy. So what they do is they take actions based on trying to prove that they're worthy, never able to get there because the true core that they're acting from is I'm unworthy. Some of us have a pattern of I'm not good enough. And so everything we do is we're trying to prove that we're good enough. The next is you might say, I don't belong. And so we're always trying to find ways to belong. I'm insignificant. We're always, always trying to be visible or seen or be significant because we truly feel insignificant. Some of us think that we don't have the capacity. So we're always, we're always feeling overwhelmed and some of us need to be perfect. We're going to really help you find the core one for you because you're probably all of them to some extent. But one or two of them are really going to be the ones for you. See, this is crucial to understand. So if you want to book your call in now, you can. There should be a link under this video. You can book it in. You're going to have a full hour with us because we're going to be taking you through first, uncovering this, but then going through in depth, in depth, what it is that we do. And we'll take you through a beautiful closed eyes meditation. And this is the key. We will find your sabotage pattern. We'll take you through a transformational session. It is the best I've ever seen. And, and when I shared this and showed this to billionaires, they just said to me, Chris, you've got to get this out there. You've got to share this with people. This is the truth. And I don't know if you know this, but 64% of billionaires are self-made, meaning they grew up in an average normal household, 64% over two thirds. And that is a big, big deal. So look, if you want to book the call, the calls with one of my highest trained coaches, it's going to be absolutely amazing. We normally charge a few hundred dollars for it. Today, you can have it for free. So if you book the call, turn up. I don't want anyone booking a call and wasting time because that is the rudest thing you can do. You'll click on the link. You'll see a time. Book the time. Put it in your calendar. Set a reminder on your phone because I pay my staff really well. This is costing me to give you this session. This session will be intense and I hope you're ready for it. So book the call right now if you want it and if you're ready to move past one of your sabotage patterns, understand structural tension, okay? Because we all make some big mistakes. And the first big mistake that we wanna make sure you get past is that you think something external 
is going to make your internal world different. If I just make a million dollars, then I'll feel like freedom. If I just have the right relationship, then I'll feel. If I have a good body, then I'll feel. The truth is nothing will happen until you feel it internally. The next one is you take advice from broke people. So I have a $5 million company. I've built eight companies past 500,000. I'm a millionaire. The truth is though, is most people out there talking about this sort of stuff, it's their only source of income. It's not for me, I have a $5 million digital marketing company and this is my way of helping people. That's why it is free, that is why you can have the session and I can't wait to see your results from that session. The last big mistake that we make is we try to avoid failure or believe that failure is real. So I don't care how many times you've tried before in the past, you've never understood this before. So don't bring your past with you. Let's cut off from that and let's have an absolutely breakthrough year. So book your breakthrough session right now. That was the end of this short video. Thank you for watching it right to the end. And tell your coach that you watched to the end by saying, hey, I watched to the end because only people who heard me say that would know. If you've watched to the end and you tell them that you watched to the end, they're gonna give you a little bit of a gift. So see you on the call, book in right now, please turn up and thank you so much for your time today. Care about you massively and I hope that you thoroughly enjoy your breakthrough session and I'd love you to send me a message, let me know how it goes. Bye for now.